hi welcome back in this video we will explain the global change so global change can be very powerful it can make you do a lot of work in short amount of time and do it accurately as well to, to use the global change function go to tools and go to global change so for global change when you show a condition so if promovera finds your condition so what the action it should take so let's see, these are all pre-made templates. You will find it with the global change. It's a ready template, ready to use. So let's say the increased duration. Let's have a look at it. So you go to modify to see the logic of the global change. And here you have activities, resource assignments, expenses, and you will have also the fields related to each area. So this is a pre-made template by Promavera. This is if, okay, then and else. So under F, I want to say the activity status equals and unstarted. So Promovera will scan all activities to see which activities status is non started. And if this condition is met, they will do automatic change for these activities. The original duration for this activity will equal to the so this will be a new original duration. It will equal to the old original duration multiplied by two. So I'm doubling the duration of these activities. So if I do change here, Promovera will filter all activities which has activity status equals none started. And they will increase the duration by double. So they will multiply it by two. So what about the other activities? like all the activities which are not started like it doesn't meet this condition so for other activities it will fall under else so else will be applied so i wanna want i wanna the remaining duration equals remaining duration times two because in the update if you remember so original duration is for the activities which have not been started you can also see the remaining duration, which is sometimes a function of the activity percentage. So if the activity is in progress, you will have the remaining duration, not original duration in this case, remaining duration equals, so you multiply it also by two. Sometimes we don't have also, it's not mandatory to use else, you can just delete the else and just it's enough to have if and then, that's enough. And you can have as many as conditions as you want like for example we can have the original duration if the original duration 10 days i can select all here the you know activity percentage complete like literally everything activity code activity name can be changed for for example i cannot change the change type you know into something else i can also have for original duration equals 10 days so i can Click original duration and choose original duration also operator. So and also the operator is related to the field you are trying to present here. So original duration, they want you like multi, like some mathematical equation here. So multiply it by 1.2 custom. So you can multiply it. So you can say original duration multiplied by earned value, for example, or you want to click custom. So sometimes you want to also multiply like two parameters from Promovera, original duration uh, times the uh, labor units, for example. It just, it's up to you, like it's limitless. The options are limitless here. So in this case, whatever activity has 10 days, I want to increase this act duration by 20% for whatever reason. I don't have to have else rule, but you can if you want for other activities which do not have 10 days duration, you can put the condition here for else and it will be applied accordingly. So let's say else original duration reduced by 80%, for example. So for all other activities which don't have 10 days, it will be reduced by 80%, just an example. So this is the concept of global change let's maybe click a change remember that the pre-made template i did some changes so it wasn't like that it was original it was before the activity status but i changed it to original duration and i multiplied by 1.2 so i changed actually the filter here so i click a change 
okay and now all activities here which had 10 days duration it increased by 20 percent or multiplied by 1.2 so this is a new value it will give you proposal first so these are the changes do you want to commit changes or not you can cancel or commit it's up to you so if you commit the changes you want to save the file you can save it or you can just click no but the change will be applied anywhere and now we can have here 12 days it was 10 but now they are 12 days so global change can be very very powerful if you are dealing with large set of data but can be very dangerous as well because if you miss it if you miss something if you do something wrong you can really have disaster which is hard to revert back so before you do global change i recommend the first take a copy of your project or take a backup like export the project into xcr format before you make the changes if anything goes wrong you can always like delete the project and import the xcr back again and do the global change try to do a new global change so if you are a beginner just be careful about it even for experienced planners sometimes they want like to sound smart or try to have like shortcuts and they take the risk and they end up with losing a lot of hard work they have achieved so be careful about global change but this is only the purpose of this tutorial and i will see you in the next video where i will explain the user defined fields